Welcome to the Ohio State University Electro Science Laboratory. Uh, I'm Mila Payden, a current graduate student and a graduate research associate here at the lab. I'm here to show you why hundreds of students have chosen to come to here to further their education and to develop their engineering skills in this collaborative environment. Established in 1942, the Electro Science Laboratory is one of the largest radio frequency and optics research laboratories in the country and has influenced radio research like no other. ESL is a distinctive university center where world-class faculty and research scientists lead projects that provide state-of-the-art exploration and superior training for both graduate and undergraduate students. In my opinion, the Electroscience Lab is very unique because it's a broad range of research that carried out here, including fundamental and theoretical studies. We also collaborate with all kinds of laboratories on campus. I chose to work at ESL um, because it has a very good uh, research opportunities. It has a very good group of um, researchers and faculties, and also it has a state-of-art facilities. Electroscience Laboratory was established almost 70 years ago. The main objective of the lab was to support national defense in the areas of wireless communication, radar, and optics. The very first project at the lab was characterization of airborne antennas. As radar and microwave technologies have expanded, so has the lab. Over the last six decades, researchers at the Electroscience Lab have made significant contributions in the areas of stealth technology, numerical electromagnetics, ground penetration radar, satellite antennas, global positioning systems, and more. Recently, we expanded into a brand new 40,000 square foot plus facility that provides modern office and workspace. This new building is designed to support research collaboration with private industry. In that, individuals from these industries can work with us under the same roof. These individuals will have direct access to some of the best research and faculty in the country, as well as to very expensive and specialized research equipment. The Electroscience Lab conducts research on all areas of electromagnetics, sensors, wireless communication systems, and optics photonics. Here, students gain real-world experience and work on real-life projects under the supervision of senior ESL researchers and faculty members. We conduct research within a team framework, and students generally align their project research with their master's thesis or PhD dissertation. Students present their research in conference presentations or in meetings with their sponsors and have many opportunities to interact with their sponsors throughout their programs. That's one reason that our students receive so many recruiting offers when they're ready to graduate. Our students work with us on a variety of projects. Most of those are sponsored by government or corporate entities. A few projects currently underway in my research group include work to assist in the design and development of NASA's SMAP mission, which is a remote sensing satellite mission intended to measure the Earth's soil moisture scheduled for launch in 2014. One of the best things about working at ESL is having instant access to world-class research facilities such as the compact range, the optics lab, the clean room, and the integrated communication system lab, and many more. Right now we're standing in the anechoic chamber here at the Electroscience Laboratory. Um, it's actually the largest university-run anechoic chamber uh, in the United States, and for those of you who don't know, an anechoic chamber is really just a, a facility that can measure electric, electromagnetic uh, radiation. So what you see behind me is a parabolic reflector and its, its job is to reflect the incoming wave from the field uh, to our target up here. And essentially it, it simulates being in the far field. And, and so the compact range or the anechoic chamber is actually just a way to get the far field in a very close distance. Um, also what you'll notice around me is a bunch of triangles or spikes and what those are is that's absorber so that we don't get interference from bounces of all the fields around. Here we're at the uh, optics lab um, that 
my advisor, uh, Professor Ron Riano, has set up, and I've, I've worked here too, and I do work here. And in the group, we, uh, we, we design optical devices, and these optical devices are generally very small. We do these, uh, we make these devices on a chip. So we start at the design process, we come up with an idea, and then we do a lot of simulations on the computer. And then the next step is to kind of come up with a, a, a plan to fabricate the device. And we, we, we fabricate the devices in the clean rooms here at Ohio State University. And then once we're done with fabrication, we bring them in. This is kind of the final step here where we uh, do our, our, our testing. Um, and we, uh, we basically uh, inject opt uh, laser light into our chips and measure the outputs. Students work closely with ESL faculty and researchers who are among the most respected people in electromagnetic education and research. Our graduates have gone on from electroscience laboratory to successful careers in industry, government, and academia. Many are well-known authors and have established laboratories at their own institutions, and the others started companies and led innovations. The Electroscience Laboratory has a proud history of 70 years in educating graduate students. About 1,000 graduates have gone on from here to excellent careers in a variety of places, including uh, as faculty members, as uh, entrepreneurs, and as leaders in companies such as Boeing, Northrop Grumman, Intel, Raytheon, to mention a few. Another proud aspect of the Electroscience Laboratory is the fact that many of the books in electromagnetics, antennas, and wireless engineering in general have been written by faculty members who taught here and alumni who received their education here. Among them are Konstantin Balanis, Roger Harrington, Ben Monk, Warren Stutzman, Gary Thiel, and Dave Poser. The Electroscience Laboratory is a great place to do multidisciplinary work, not just in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, but also in mechanical, computer science, and material engineering, as well as chemistry and biology. This kind of multidisciplinary environment is what we endeavor to present to our students and therefore prepare them for an excellent career. During your studies at The Ohio State University, you will have the opportunity to explore different career options at many different organizations. Many companies come here specifically to recruit ESL graduates. Financial support is provided for most ESL graduate students, which typically includes the full tuition as well as a monthly stipend. Both fellowships and graduate research associate appointments are available. We're looking for excellent graduate students in RF engineering, and certainly for individuals who want to innovate and go change the world. We have been fortunate in recruiting some excellent graduate students from all over the world, and I'm sure we'll continue to do so. More recently, there's a growing need for American students. Therefore, we're focusing in recruiting American students to fill in the growing need of applications in the RF and wireless engineering field. The Electroscience Laboratory is located on West Campus, just two miles away from The Ohio State University's main campus. OSU's campus area busing system provides free transportation to main campus. Ample parking is also available. It's a great time to be a part of the Electroscience Laboratory. There are a lot of exciting developments taking place right now. The opportunities for new students are endless.